This is how we ride. This is how we do. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. There was a very interesting situation that happened over the weekend. It had to do with some sprint car racing, even though this weekend Sonoya race did get rained out, of course. Uh, we have been keeping one eye open on the things happening overseas and down under in Australia. And it was an interesting race. Uh, the last lap, I don't know what happened. Sheldon Hoddenschild had the lead and it looked like the car just was running out of gas or something. And he ended up losing the, the race on the final turn. Of course, Brock Hallett getting the win at the end of everything. But there was this issue in the B-Main uh, with a driver named Cam Waters getting in. Uh, but... How he got in was through an incident that actually happened. Now, this is a little clip from uh, Sprint Car Hub on their Facebook page, and you can kind of see how the drivers uh, get into each other. Now, that car that's at pace is this driver right here, and he actually got DQ'd, uh, put back spots, several spots, or, or one way or another, uh, because his car coming to the checkered right there uh, actually... Lost power, something went wrong, ran out of fuel, something like that, mechanical issue. And cars ran into the back of him prior to the checkered flag. And the stewards, that they're calling him over there, the official steward, same thing, deemed that he was the cause of that wreck before the checkered flag. And they didn't necessarily throw a caution and, and do a, a one-lap restart like you would think if that's going to be the case. They just completely put him to the to the back of the of the finishing order, moving Cam Waters, a driver, into the final starting spot of the grand annual race that they have here uh, over there in Australia. Um, so it's a very interesting situation. You can see he's very upset with the official. I mean, it is weird. Why would you? DQ a guy running out of or of gas or, or, or coming to a stop where he didn't like move across the track. He held his position on the speedway. It's kind of the guys behind him, their responsibility to get around him. I mean, this, this guy who's flipping here, what is he even doing? He's coming off the top of the track sideways and, and basically slides straight and drives almost straight into him. Why didn't this guy keep straight? You'll see it here. Why, why, why did this guy go left? It didn't look like uh, Ando was all the way up to the wall. Why did this dude go to the left? It's it's We, we, we learned this in regular driving, you know, and, and people have taken advantage of the insurance industry uh, through uh, hitting or hitting the brakes. Kind of they, They've got a scheme out there where they'll actually encompass a car. Two people will be trying to get an insurance claim. They'll encompass a car going down the highway on both sides. And then they'll put the guy, a guy in front of the driver that they're encompassing. And that guy will hit the brakes and the dude has nowhere to go and slams into the back of him. And it's his fault, the guy who slams into him, even though this whole trap was ran, it's his fault. And he has to, he's the one at fault for the injury because anytime you run into the back of somebody, you are at fault. Not the person being run into. So, weirdly enough, this is a very similar situation where the driver behind has the options and sees where he can go the guy in front these don't have, these cars don't have rear, rear view mirrors they can't control who's coming it looks like he held the wheel straight the car straight this other driver it's his responsibility to maneuver around him and he didn't he crashed into him so very interesting situation that happened here uh over the weekend in australia uh, I saw Johnny Gibson made some comments. He said he couldn't even believe that they would have such a rule or make such a ruling. Um, and it is interesting. There's there's many ways to look at it. I heard a few people or saw a few people in the comment section say, oh, this driver's dirty and he finally got what he deserved. And Cam, Water, Cam Waters or whatever is favored in over there. And there's all kinds of schemes being ran. And I, I almost have to assume that there was some sort of favoritism involved in getting this one in particular driver in i don't know why you would make a call like that if it wasn't the case uh that's one of the issues in racing is the political side of it and nobody pays attention to the political side of it because most of the time the political side of it are involved in the series and or involved in a company that sponsors the series and there's a bunch of buddies the buddy system and the political system hand in hand uh and if you call it out and talk about it you get your credentials rejected and everything along the lines, lines like i do so a lot of people out there play ball, and they don't like to call this stuff out. It definitely smells fishy for this call to be made. 
I don't know. You tell me, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we have to do with this all the time going down the road. If a guy is in front of us and slows down, it is up to us to miss him and not run into the back of him, or it is deemed our fault. I see a very similar situation that just occurred here on our screen. But anyways, I want to thank Sprint Car Hub for capturing some of this stuff. He's going to have more things coming up on his YouTube channel around this entire scenario. D did some great coverage over there, and you can see it's Sprint Car Hub on YouTube. So go over there and subscribe to him. What do y'all think? Leave a comment below. It's a very interesting situation. Like I said, something we deal with day in and day out going down the road ourselves. We can't run into the back of somebody or it is deemed our fault. Be sure to subscribe and we will catch you next time. This is how we ride. This is how we do.